Hello everyone, it's Doom here once again playing some Pokemon Radical Red. I'm feeling we actually stand a decent-ish chance at beating Giovanni with our current team. As long as we, you know, just don't play really stupidly. So let's fight him again. I think I'll probably give it like one, two, maybe three more tries with the same team before we go over. Oh, let's see if we can beat Morty. And if we can't beat either of them, well, it's time to rethink our strategies then. Because it's clearly our team isn't working. Let's see. Ice Beam has the most power, I believe, so we'll use that. It's sort of the case, I feel like, without, like, <laughs> the thing is, like, all of my Pokemon strategies don't rely on things like sleep. It's kind of sad. Oh well. Alright. Right, maybe Ak Alkir can really show what they're made out of with that priority mock punch, that spore, that leech seed, that seed bomb can help too. The spore can't miss, it's a hundred accurate sleep. Well it can miss if you get like minus accuracy or anything like that. Onch Crow. Alright. Um Berloom's slow, so yeah. Let's see what Philodes can do. It resists dark. So, okay. Well, it doesn't resist flying. Oh. Oh, of course it had a crit. Alright. Oh. Hmm. Double crit. Okay. Okay. Rock slide, I guess. We are faster, actually. So that should mean Horus is faster, actually. That's good to know. Come on, Acker. Sucker punch, okay. Okay. We know Horus is faster because Alk was faster than. And they both have the same speed set of 100 base. It's gonna go into Rhyferior then? Alright. Close combat definitely isn't killing from here, so let's not try it. Instead, what we're going to do is Alk. It's going to do like Rock Slide, which, yeah. And this time, since we know it has sleep punch or er, ice punch, 100%, we're going to spore. And then we're not gonna aim. Mega Kagascon is faster, so I think it makes sense to try and be greedy with Leech Seed recovery. Oh, come on! First turn wake up, of course. Well, actually, it isn't first turn wake up, it's second turn, but... Uh, of course. Alright, looks like it's Zachi, then. Alright, just use Razor Leaf. Maybe get a crit or something. I don't know, I don't care. Oh, it did get a crit. Oh my god, that did nothing! This is show how good Solid Rock is as an ability, as well as my Furious physical defense. Oh, come on! Seriously? 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 This isn't good gameplay, guys. This is just bullshit. We're faster. Mazachi's actually faster. That's good to know. What isn't is how bullshit that was. Okay, it has like scope lens and super luck. Alright. Mm. Quick attack, maybe it's going to do. I don't know if that'll knock it out there, but it's probably going to do Sucker Punch. It didn't do Sucker Punch. Mm. 
All right, well, that meant we have like a zero chance of winning, but we tried. I'm just gonna do a wing beat here since I know it'll kill. <laughs> and I just wanna mock this right here. That's what you get for <laughs> destroying my favorite Pokemon with bullshit. All right, then it's gonna go Mega King Ascon, which is faster than us. Or Honchkra, which is just gonna get quick attacked. All right. Giovanni's like, you know what? Horse looking pretty scary. Let's give it a few meals before we send out Kangaskhan. Fan it up so it can't move as quickly. I was like, I don't know. All right. It's just gonna fake out and take out uh, Horus from here. So we've lost, but at least we know what his last Pokemon is, I guess. No. Yeah. Goodbye, Horus. You tried. You're definitely better than every other Mon on this trash team. <laughs> Uh, of course, while some people might blame their Pokemon, if you have a bad team, it's on the trainer. Really goes to show how I'm not very good at Pokemon. <laughs> Alright, and we're back with round three. I didn't change up strategy too much, all I'm doing is sending Philotes in the lead, unless I forgot that guy, yeah. Alright, Ice Beam! And it has Sludge Bomb. Of course it has Stab. Oh well. Philotes isn't actually very good, I just want to see if it gets some kind of chip damage in the hopes that Marzana can do it, but nope. Alright. Let's see. I guess we just do the same strategy as before then. Get Earth powered. And then it get, lives with a sliver. And then we're going to switch to uh, Alk here. It's probably going to not Earth Beam or Ice Beam. It's going to Earth Power. And then that's fine. We can just mock punch. Eh, we'll be K. It hurts, but we'll be fine. Priority is pretty useful. That's why I keep quick attack on Horus. <laughs> Alright. I th I think Horus is fine. It lives the critical hit before, and we can, and then we can just close combat it to death or something. Because we're faster. Why did that do so much more than last time? Am I just having amnesia? <laughs> that, it didn't do that much damage. What? I'm confused. Well. And so we just lost Horus for no reason, because I'm really fucking stupid. Well... Well, Acker's faster, so... If I think about Acker, I was thinking about Acker instead of Horus. God damn it. My brain is just exploding. Just melting in my head. Alright, right. Furio takes no damage from that. It's going to Ice Punch here, so Marzana, I guess. Maybe the resistance help us takes it? I don't think so. Oh no, we're fine. Um, we want to use Ice Beam here. Drain... Is Drain Kiss physical? It is special, but it also doesn't have Stab, so... Okay. Use Ice Beam then, just to get much chip as damage as possible. This is special, and it is still super effective, so it should hit our Refurier a lot harder. Put it in range of Seed Bomb. It doesn't look like Razor Leaf without a crit, so we're just going to use Seed Bomb. Or Acker actually might be able to do it with an Earthquake. I think Acker can do it with an Earthquake, so I'm going to send Acker. If, it's, if I'm wrong and it's able to Ice Punch, I'm going to be wrong. Solid Rock, I don't think will be enough. Yeah, Solid Rock wasn't enough. Alright, it's just going to fake out. So, I'm not... I think we sack out then. 
I'm like, I don't like sacking my favorite Pokemon, but it's gonna fake out. And I don't really think Kang... I don't think Brilliant outspeeds either thing. And if it ends up surviving long enough to Spore, it survives long enough to get a Leech Seed. And maybe a Mach Punch or two. But I don't think it will. It's slower than... Oh! Effect Spore on Fake Out Double Hit, I'm a genius! All right, Leech Seed. Fast asleep, let me drain all of your vitality for myself. <laughs> all right, Mach Punch. Please stay asleep, thank you. All right. Stay asleep as I drain your life. <laughs> Sleep's pretty uh, pretty good, pretty good. There's a reason my entire strategy is to just use sleep. <laughs> you think sleep claws can stop me? <laughs> this is why Brilliant is amazing. <laughs> 10k IQ. <laughs> I completely forgot about effect spore. <laughs> all right, all right. I guess I'll just mock punch. <laughs> it's neutral, but I don't think it'll. Yeah. And then Drill Pit just annihilates us since we're quad weak and it's a crit. But we've already learned that both Zachi and Hacker are faster than this Honch Crow. So I think we're pretty much in the clear here. And your Sucker Punch. Honch Crow hurts pretty badly, but it's also not going to survive that. <laughs> I knew it. We could do it. With, we could beat Giovanni with our team. We could beat it. You know, despite Nido King apparently having 120 speed or something that ridiculous now. If you would never understand that I have to achieve, I shall step aside. I hope we meet again this time. We got the Silphoscope. Yay! We're definitely going to want to go straight to Pokemon Tower with that. Anyhow, I think we'll actually continue since so that took less time than I thought. Alright, so whilst I was going to Lavender Town, I decided to stop for some training and catch uh, Growlithe, as Arcanine is actually one of my favorite Pokemon. And I felt like a good name would be Kresniak, at least I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, a golden fire god who became a hero of Slovenia. He's a Slavic mythology, so I'm guessing Slovenian mythology. And I just felt like that was too cool of a description, uh, at least if it's true. I hope it's true. It's probably not because it's on Wikipedia, but... I don't know, I just felt like the Golden Fire God seemed a pretty good description for Arcanan. Okay, it's one of my favorite Gen 1 Pokemon, so I'm allowed to be a little biased. Alright, let's see if we can tango with Morty, or if we just become too overleveled, and it was completely pointless to try and train a few Dark Types in order to have some level of type advantage. Middle of the blah blah blah, fantastic. Yeah, yeah, you want to look at Ho-Ho again. <laughs> Which you should probably be in Johto for, Morty. You know, here we're starting with Zachi, since, oh, well, I'm not really sure what else to start with. Sludge Bomb away, it's still faster. <laughs> Isn't it always level 48? I thought it was lower, but alright. Alright, Disguise. And it takes a tiny bit of chip. Shadow Claw, let's see. Has our levels being higher allowed us to survive a hit? Mm, yes, actually. Good going, Zachi. No, please, just... Why is this thing so ungodly durable? It was he always, like, level 48 plus? Uh. Well, it's... It's probably gonna be, like, blazing fast. And yeah, I got a neck bed, and then... And I decided to raise that sand dial up. There, I'm not... I don't really know what to do, since this thing has a fairy move. Like, what, what do we do? Why did I send out Neckbet? That was really dumb. It's just faster than everything, because... I think they must have given, like, an enemy speed boost or something, or at least made them have, uh, like, max speed uh, speed IVs and stuff, so that it's just so much faster than is expected. Unless you, would, like, actively grind out. Okay, well, now you're going to be this fast. Uh... I might just stop trying to be Morty. I highly doubt it's gonna have like a super required item. And it seems like the Geodo gym layers are level scaling. Uh... 
so you know he'll just have 100 level Pokemon and he's like oh yeah yeah yes yeah, Mimikyu looks like it's gonna sweep again <laughs> despite the level advantage we have it's just so darn fast no, like at least Marty can you at least let us see the rest of your team no all right oh yeah we also got a uh, brave bird Oh, lucky. <laughs> now here's the part where Horus just, just destroys his entire team. Or something, I don't know. I'm, I'm hopeful. It probably has like a Gengar, which is definitely faster than Horus. Especially if it level scales, so it's like gonna be level 55 or something. Trying to learn Foul Play. <laughs> I don't remember it's, it's Crocodile having a bad move pool, but it looking like it has a bad move pool. Uh, do a wing bit, I guess. Drift Flim relies on huge HP, so it's just gonna deal massive recoil damage to us, even if Brave Bird like Oko, okay, so. Air Slash. Alright. Ow. Doesn't Drift Blim just burn? Why do you have Flame Orb on Drift Blim? Why? Alright. Morty's drunk. <laughs> that or he's possessed by his Gengar, I don't know. Chandelier. Alright, that looks brave bird worthable. Burb attack, go! Oh, it lived? Really? Horus, really? It gotta be doing this to me. Doesn't even have a focus sash. Alright. That's EQ. Shadow Ball. All right, it's probably going to destroy us because it's a friggin' Chandelier with a massive special attack. Oh no! Good job, Hacker. You waste my expectations on like Flotes. <laughs> Although I still think Alk being way better than I th ever thought she would be. I guess. They... All right, Gengar. There you go. There you go. It's not over yet. I still believe we can do it. Well, he's faster than us, and he's 100% faster than, uh, the, yeah. Who knows, maybe he'll do something stupid like mean look. Uh, no. no. It's 48, so. Well, at least actually has got two levels out of this. And Dazzle Gleam. Because Gengar's move pool is just ludicrous. Eh, screw it. We got the the self scope. Let's do some progression in the in the Pokemon Tower stuff. Let's put Acker in the lead, though. Besides, we need to get more XP on Alcus anyway, so we may as well do that in the background with the XP share and Lucky Egg combo. We already talked to this, so all right, let's go. Ghost types, man. They're not like the best type, objectively speaking. They could be really annoying. Bo, they must have been possessed. Oh, random encounter. Let's see, is it something good? Smagius isn't bad. I might actually want to catch it. You know, just because. Uh, let's see. Kaldfu is a uh, Loa, I think? From, like, um, Cation mythology? Uh, they're basically kind of just a jerk that is like, okay, do you want to help get help from the other deities? Yes, no, screw you. And we get an evolution, yay. Dun, 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 Okay, wait, I just realized we can maybe get the, um, sunglasses that we got at Giovanni's. That might help against Morty, or really the dark types in general, since, you know, crunch, 80 power. Alright, Crocodile, yay. Trying to learn Foul Play. It's not even good, you're supposed to use your own attack stat. Uh. Alright, we did lose some crunch power points because the thing you decided to just spam Spite. Or not thingy, Miss Magius. <laughs> or not, or Crackle, whatever. I'm not really certain if Chandler is going to be good. I kind of prefer Gengar. I'm more of a Gengar person when it comes to ground-weak ghost types. Oh, hey there, Spirit Tomb. 
All right, we took one step and now it's... It looks like we found a zombie. Hope. Oh no. It's it's a uh, it's a uh, hair all grown up from um raising hope. Anyone else watch that? I I mostly watched it <laughs> once my name was Earl was canceled. It was like it was all right, but it wasn't Earl, man. All right, we've cured her from the zombie affliction, and we got the sable knight for when we want to stall the AI, which. I mean, might be a genuinely good strategy. I don't know. I don't think the AI is programmed to deal with stall. Oh, hey there, Cubone. All right, let's continue. I said, let's continue. This better be a good Pokemon. I haven't used Runegara, so I don't know if it's a good Pokemon. Anyhow, there's an elixir over here and there's a trainer over here. <laughs> you beat me not. Dusk Lob. So hey, it's the Pokemon that should be durable, but it's 40 base HP. <laughs> yeah, like you're gonna tank anything with that. That's another thing I do. Buff Shuckle, Dusk Nor, and Dusk Lobs and all that thing. Give them actual HP stats so they can fulfill their purpose of being durable. Be cursed with me! I don't like deal with crazy ladies every day, so not impressed. Oh hey, Haunter's pretty cool. Still just waiting for a neck bet to evolve into Mandibuzz. Alright, this better be something worth catching. This is not something worth catching. Let's have gotten hit really hard. It's stats are just so meh. It should be called the meh Pokemon. Alright, it looks like another person who's freaking out. Alright, Frostlass. Frostlass is pretty cool. Eh, ice type cool. It's a, it also has the problem that it's an ice type and we just sent Acker into it. Good thing it's under leveled. Alright. Great ball. Alright. Awakening. Alright. That'll be useful for hypnosis. I don't know. Alright. This better be something good like a haunter. That's a Cubone. I can't say I'm liking the random encounters so far. So far the only good one's been Miss Magius. Alright. You shall join us! They are zombies! I guess ghoul would be the more accurate term for modern historical zombies, I say with quotation marks. Since, you know, they're not zombies, they're closer to ghouls. I kind of wish the ghoul word caught on because it's actually accurate. What a nightmare. And just casual 10 year old fighting off possessed spirits and whatnot. You for me are all. I'll pass, thank you. Is you about to die? I don't remember what Petal Storm does at all, but it seems like a decent upgrade over Razor Leaf, so. There we go. Watch it be like a terrible move, and it's like, ah. Made my mistakes, got nowhere to run. <laughs> Anyhow, this is the healing zone. It's very nice. Blends tag. And we still got a more Pokemon to fight. Zombies! Actually, I think the correct term is kills. Oh, hey, Jellison, that's a Pokemon I've been thinking about getting. Alright, let's see, what's your deal? Yeah. Oh, I think this one's just having a case of the sick. Of the plague. And freaking Golet? Why not a Golur? Nugget. Alright, please be a good Pokemon like, I don't know, Gengar or Dusnor or another Miss Magic. <laughs> Alright, continuing on, let's go up the stairs. Ooh, GS Ball. Get it. The Willow Wisp. Willow Wisp is actually pretty good. Burns are actually probably one of the better status effects. I think only Paralysis is better, and Toxic is sometimes better. Oh, hey, Dusk Lops. Well, I guess it seems pretty rare so far, so I guess we'll pick it up. I decided not to give the Dusk Lops a name since I mostly caught it because I like Dusk Nor. <laughs> and that's, that's really it. 
Dusclops isn't very good and neither is Dusknoir. Dusclops is honestly better than Dusknoir to you feel like. Just it really has to be the saddest evolution ever. Its most optimal use is as an upgrade to its pre-evolution because of Eevee Alight. <laughs> Give me blood. Well, I guess we found the vampire. All right, and we're back. Let's see what you have. I feel like that was a better interpretation than literally going KKK or Kek like I'm Korean, doing some six pool and strats. Alright, next one. <laughs> Zatu, I guess now they're doing psychic types instead of ghost types for some reason. First time I go now Zatu. Well, they're both gonna die to dark type crunch from good old Acker here. He's really pulling his weight. He kind of it was kind of meh <laughs> as a as a trap engine. I think he was kind of used as a vibrato, but he's really showing what those 100 base attack and speed can do. Good going, Acker. Good going. I had faith in you. <laughs> oh. Okay, please be something good. That's not something good. I don't know. Maybe I'll try and use the dust cloths against. Uh, I don't know. Break the disguise on mimic you or something. I don't know. Burn it with will o wisp so its attack stat is just gone. Actually, sounds like an almost useful strategy. And hey, I I do could I could give it Eevee light, and that would help its bulk a lot. So, hmm. oh, I completely forgot about this. Be gone, intruders! I completely forgot about this one. You know, it's like one of those iconic things. All right, I'd like to try and catch Marowak here. I guess flared to life. Speed drastic. Oh, here's the part where we get swept by a frickin' Alolan Marowak. All right, and someone goes crazy in the background, which is pretty fitting. I'd say. Oh, all right. Well, that's just earthquake. It's gonna use fire punch for two. Oh, it didn't do two damage. I'm just going crazy. Also, that was surprisingly easy. Also, we didn't get to catch the Alolan Marowak. Whoops. This is the restless spirit of Cubone's mother. Then their spirit was calm. It departed to the afterlife. And that means it's time for more Team Rocket Grants. I had to get destroyed. What do you want? Why are you here? I'm not sure why they talk like that, but that's what they talk like now. Let's see. Do you have anything interesting? No. Oh, hey, it's a Luxray. What a cool Pokemon, guys. It would be such a shame if it wasn't weak to one of the most common attacking types. Uh oh. Oh, and also, it was, it was both slow and weak and frail. Yay. Get an Electivire, you goon. I don't know. And Electivire is such a cool looking Pokemon. If only it didn't lose speed. And I don't care about freaking Embargo. Stop trying to learn Embargo. I like free trade. That's how I get money in Stellaris. And Hearts of Iron. I'm not going to forget this. Didn't I say it's not trying to voice act? It's fun though. You guy must run up to a hideout. Then he's ranting about how Team Rock is abusing Pokemon. So we're just talking over as adults. By force. With Pokemon. Oh hey, a Rhydon. That actually sounds kind of intimidating. Not gonna lie. If someone was, <laughs> someone was trying to threaten me with a Rhydon at their side, I'd be intimidated. I'd be listening. Then again, I wouldn't be as terrified as if I was facing, like, I don't know, an Arbok or an RK9 or even, a, you know, another Star Raptor. But the thing is with the Rhydon is that it also looks visually slow. I, you know, I'm pretty fat, but then again, I don't know if I'd have, like, Snorlax to your speed. And, I don't know. Hey, look, a Hypno. It's being forewarned of its immediate death. I have a feeling that crit was unnecessary. <laughs> Acker's just tearing things apart. Jeez, good going. Pokemon are only good for making money. Why not use them? You stay out of our business. Alright, last one. You're not saving anyone, kid. I don't know. Are you sure about that? I have six Pokemon, you know, and so far I've only needed to use one. Oh, hey, that's a Viper. It's still gonna die! Case in point. <sighs> All right, next one, next one, next one. Bring it on. Nothing interesting. Nothing interesting. 
I don't recall if we've seen a Meow Stick already or not, but uh, it's not gonna last long. <laughs> Acker's just tearing things apart, what the hell? Oh, it didn't, didn't tear this thing apart. Goodbye, Acker. Oh, never mind, he's fine. Acker, man, he's not a joke. Don't mess around with him, jeez. Good going, Acker. Good going. Acleus is... Well, this also isn't looking too bad, I guess. Trying to learn... Why... <laughs> what are you doing? Learning these moves. Are you gonna finally evolve, Willoughby? Fight us rockets. I'm not getting away with this. I think I am, actually. Mr. Fuji, hey, you came to save me. Thank you, but I came here of my own free will. I came to calm the spirit of Cubans with it. Well, you failed! I had to do it. I think Marowak's spirit has finally left us. I must thank you for your kind concern. Follow me to my home, Pokemon House, at the foot of this tower. With Morty just <laughs> camping out there. Doom RPG. Your Pokedex quest is one that requires strong dedication. Apparently not. Without deep love for Pokemon, your quest may fail. Apparently not. I'm not sure this will help you, but I'd like you to have it. And the reason we want this is that Snorlax is a good Pokemon that we're going to want to catch right away before we face Morty. Hearing the Pokemon po sleeping Pokemon will spring awake, tracing Pokemon that are sleeping obstacles. That said, Snorlax isn't going to do much against Mimikyu even with its 160 HP, so... I think that's actually a pretty good stopping point. I think everyone should have a nice day, for Doom is signing out. Good morning.